The universe is saying today, everything that comes to you is about what you have got going on vibrationally. And what you have got going on vibrationally is usually because of what you are observing, but it does not have to be. Just do your best to keep yourself in balance. One of the first things that causes energy misalignment is asking or demanding too much of yourself in terms of time and effort. In other words, you just cannot burn the candle at both ends so that you are physically tired and then expect yourself to have a cheerful attitude. So the rule of thumb has to be, I am going to be very, very, very happy and then do everything I have time to do after that. Some things you are not letting happen right now because the timing isn't perfect for you. Some you are not letting happen because you are very aware of where you are but all things, as they are happening, are happening in perfect order, for everything in its perfect time. Everything is unfolding, and I'm enjoying where I am now in relationship to where I am going. Content where I am and eager for more. That is the perfect vibrational stance. The universe is so abundant with what it wants to give you, and it's being revealed to you all the time, but you have got to realise it. You have got to let it in, which means you have got to prepare your vibrational atmosphere. It's what you are doing before the moment that makes the difference. It's not what you are doing within that moment. So when you practice moment after moment satisfaction, then it feels to you like the universe is becoming more productive on your behalf. It isn't. You are just letting in the productivity that's already been lined up for you. If you are working on changing bad habits, unhealthy thought patterns, negative emotions or toxic behaviours, know that you are healing a small part of the world by healing yourself. Everyone around you will benefit and they will be served by your wholeness. It's hard sometimes and I know you want to quit but this is the work that ultimately changes the world. God is going to show out not only to take you into your destiny but to prove to the people around you that the Lord is on your side. He's about to do something so big, so unusual, so out of the ordinary that there won't be any doubt that his favour is on your life. Claim it. Ask for healing, clarity, peace, wisdom and guidance. Ask for abundance, creativity, light and love. Don't be timid in your prayers or your requests. Be bold be positive and be grateful. As everything you are asking for is already making its way to you, make a list of positive aspects, make a list of things you love and never complain about anything. And as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention and be who you are, you will tune to who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. It is not your job to transform the world for others, but it is your job to transform it for you, a state of appreciation, this pure connection to souls where there is no perception of lack. It may sound odd, but the fastest way to get to a new and improved situation is to make peace with your current situation. By making a list of the most positive aspects you can find about your current situation, you then release your resistance to the improvements that are waiting for you. But if you reel against the injustice of your current situation, you hold yourself in vibrational alignment with what you do not want, and you cannot then move in the direction of improvement.